all of our lives are gonna be affected by AI. We know today that we're right at the bottom, the basis of where this thing's starting. So we're looking at people that are really exploring the boundaries. So what is the right startup in your opinion? The first thing that I look at is a team. Can you work with the team? Are they optimistic or ne negative? I look at the characteristic of the team. Do they really want to do it? Do they have the right stuff? Do they have the passion? Do they have the drive? Do they have the ambition to really go forward? And that's really number one. Number two is I look at the technology. Do they have something that is so hot, as Bob Dorf says, that people want to grab it right off the shelves? That there's something that they have to have. I look at that. And then I look at what competitors do they have in the marketplace and where I believe that they'll fit. If you look at those three things, any venture capital will look at those three things. But here we're talking about artificial intelligence. What's special about this sector and uh, what it is, if you like, unique in, in the process of evaluating if this is going to be successful or not? Well, so I, I just want to paint this scenario. As I said earlier, every part of our life, all of our lives are going to be affected by AI. Look at it. It's a revolution. Look what happened at the beginning of the 20th century. How much electricity affected manufacturing, cars, our lives, washing machines, so much, everything. Hospitals. Our lives were totally changed. We're at that same time today, Pablo. Exactly that same time. And so this revolution's taking place. It's like, what did people say when they saw the first light bulb? They didn't realize the applications that were come out of it. Car lights, operating room lights, truck lights, lights for highways, lights for everything. Think about it, how much our lives changed. That's exactly where we are today. So we're looking at companies that have a revolutionary, can have a revolutionary impact. We know today that we're right at the bottom, the basis of where this thing's starting. So we're looking at people that are really exploring the boundaries. Things like unsupervised artificial intelligence, ladder networks, variational autoencoders, things that are really on the cutting edge. And I look personally, I write about things like emotional AI and Forbes. I'm looking at where people are really saying, it's not just about the AI, it's about the kind of passion that we can teach and a positive sense of emotions to the artificial intelligence.